everyone and welcome back to my channel. My name is Sabrina. I'm very excited to have you here. Today I'm going to be doing my September wrap up plus my October TBR because I don't know how to live my life. End of story. Coffee. My cat is sitting there on the floor and I think we're ready to talk about some books. Look at my lipstick. It's orange. If you're wondering why I look like I belong on the cover of a Teen Witch catalog, it's because I've decided since it's October, we need to start dressing like we're basic witches. Like we belong in the Sabrina the Teenage Witch universe, not the like fluffy one that used to air on TV. Like the Chilling Adventures of Sabrina comics where zombies come back to life. That's all I'm saying. I think we should do that, okay? That's all I'm saying. What do you think? Comment down below. So I'm gonna break down this video real Real quick so first we're gonna be talking about all the books I read in September I'm just gonna give you my star rating what I thought about it and probably a little bit summary of the plot so if you want to pick it up you kind of have the idea of what it's about and then I'm gonna talk about my October TBR so just all the books I want to read in October I have been on the struggle bus when it comes to reading I've literally been trying to read the Goblet of Fire for probably like three weeks now Lord help me so without further ado let's just get straight on into this video yes yes what's wrong what's wrong why are you sniffing my toe the cat's in heat so if you hear her cry Crying. My name is Coffee Cats and Books. Y'all know you're gonna hear a cat every once in a while. The first book I read throughout the month of September was Wonder by RJ Palacio. I really hope I'm saying his name correctly. If I'm not, please correct me in the comments. Y'all know I can't speak. So this book is about a little boy with a face deformity and his parents decide after his 12 years of life on earth, he needs to go to public school. He needs to have that child interaction. He needs to go. So they send him off to public school and this is just kind of his journey through his first year in public school. All the amazing things and all the very sad things that go along with that. What I really like about this book is they did do it in the point of view of not only Augie, which is our main character, they did it from his sister and his mom and his dad's and his sister's boyfriend. All these characters' point of views, which are super important to the book. Moving on and forward. So something I really, really enjoyed about Wonder was that they did split it up into all these characters' narratives, which I think was super important to the book because it kind of gives us the view of how Augie's mom feels about his disability, how his dad, or his sister's boyfriend, how all these people feel about his disability and how it kind of affects their daily life. Because I think we tend to see the disability before the person. So, person first language, y'all. Google it. You're welcome. So I ended up giving this book a five out of five stars. I really like the disability aspect of it. I think it really opened my eyes on seeing the person before the disability because that's something I feel like we all really struggle with. When we see a child with disabilities, we automatically think about the disability over the child. That's something that really opened my eyes with this book. Also something I really liked about it was the different perspectives. I think that was so important for not only the plot, but of Augie's story. The next book I read this month was Faith Taking Flight by Julie Murphy. This book is about a plus size girl who finds out she can fly and they send her to this very scary camp for kids with special abilities and she does some scary things there. They don't really talk about it but I think they should make a whole book about it to be honest and Faith is dealing with a lot of things. She's dealing with her sexuality, trying to figure out who she is. High school as a plus size girl, hard enough and favorite show is filming in her town and she's falling in love with the main star. That's like everyone's dream, isn't it? Isn't it? It's mine. Tom Felton, that's all I'm saying. Something I really enjoyed about this book was the plus size representation. I feel like we don't have enough of that, not only in the booktube community, in the author community, but in just book community as, as a whole. We really don't have a lot of plus size individuals to represent, and I think that's something that's super important, especially for young girls that are plus size. I was plus size my entire childhood, even now I am, and I feel like that's such an important aspect to have, is to be able to say this girl's plus size and have no shame in it. My mouth always gets super dry when I'm filming. Now, one thing I really didn't like about this book was how fast paced it was. They didn't give a lot of face backstory with learning how to fly and stuff. Just like about a chapter and we really don't learn much about that scary camp she went to which honestly I need to know more about it because it seems so interesting. My cats are out there playing with toys. Can you hear them? And the plot was very hard to follow at times. We struggle back and forth with Faith and um Faith is dealing with something and all of a sudden we never hear about it again and that's something I struggled with this this book. But overall I did enjoy it. I gave it a 4 out of 5 star. Just the plot holes really screwed with me at times. The next book I read this month was Harry Potter and the Words. The next book I read was Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone or the Philosopher's Stone depending on where you're from by J.K. Rowling. So I don't think I needed to s explain the plot of Harry Potter because I'm sure all of you know but this book is about a young wizard named Harry Potter who learns that he is a wizard and he gets enrolled in Hogwarts School of witchcraft and wizardry and 
he gets to learn how to be a wizard and we're just following his experience through that. I honestly love Harry Potter books. If you have not seen my reading vlog for that, you can click up here. I definitely vlogged my entire experience. It was so much fun. I'm currently doing that for Goblet of Fire, but that book is so big. But I loved this book. I loved Harry's adventures. I loved meeting all these new characters into this whole new world. I refuse to believe that Hogwarts is in a real place and I'm just waiting for my letter to come in the mail because we're still waiting for it to be rebuilt after the Battle of Hogwarts, okay? I gave this book a 5 out of 5. No shame. Loved it a lot. The next book I read was Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secrets by J.K. Rowling as we're just following Harry Potter on his little adventures through Hogwarts in this one. He's getting into trouble, getting into secrets, Draco's being a jerk, Hermione's being a know-it-all. I love it. 5 out of 5 stars. I don't even have to talk about Harry Potter because it's such a widely known thing. If you want to read that, watch that reading vlog. Links up above. Go watch it. It's a fun time. And the very last book I read this month was Harry Potter and the Prisoner of Azkaban by J.K. Rowling. Listen, this book I found really boring for some reason. I feel like it was just a... Uh, I don't know. I know we got introduced to some very important characters like Sirius Black. But, 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 but. Not very much happened, I feel like. Like, I know a lot happened, but like, there were no snakes coming out of walls. Chamber of Secrets. There was no professors with Lord Voldemort's face on the back of their head. Sorcerer's Stone. Okay, I just need that kind of drama in my life. That's all I'm saying. So that is all the books I read throughout the month of September. My average star rating was a 4.8, which is amazing. I've been doing so good with the books I've been reading lately. I don't know what my deal is. And I read a total of 1,600 books. Or, I, oh, 1,600 books? Oh, girl. I read a total of 1,600 pages this month, which is amazing for me, especially with the struggle bus I've been on. And these books were, like, bigger than my normal books, so no shame. So now we're going to talk about my October TBR. So there are a lot of weird books on this list don't come at me that's all I'm saying I really want to read some spooky books but at the same time I really want to read some just feel-good fall stories but then I also just want to sit down and read Harry Potter and nothing else priorities you know what I'm saying? So the first book I'm just dying to read this month is Harry Potter and the Goblet of Fire. So I've actually started this, so I'm kind of just like including it. Um, obviously this is just a continuation of the Harry Potter series. I'm trying to do a video where I'm just reading it and talking about it with this one, but there is so much stuff going on. And it's a 700 page book, but this video is 45 minutes long. I thoroughly apologize for me as a person. You can watch those videos on my channel of the last ones. It's fun. It's a fun time. The next book I want to read this month is Lock Every Door by Riley Sager. So he's slowly become Coming, one of my favorite thriller authors. He's so fun. I'm a fan. So this book is about a girl who's hired to babysit an apartment, babysit an apartment, whatever you want to call that. And she has to follow a very specific set of rules. So she can't leave after a certain time. Um, she has to stay in the building. Uh, she can't have friends over. She can't communicate with the outside world. It's really weird rules. And weird stuff starts happening to her. Weird stuff starts happening to the complex. I don't know. All I know is it's creepy spooky and it would be very good for Halloween. The next book I want to read is is The Sundown Motel by Simone St. James. I want to read this book. I've had it on my shelf since I want to say like March. I've just been waiting for the perfect season to read it and it's the perfect season, okay? Book season is upon us. So this book is about a girl who I believe aunt went to this motel and there's some just some creepy stuff that's happening. I don't know if it's a murder or if it's ghosts. I don't know, but it seems super spooky and that's something that I enjoy. I'm sorry I'm being super vague. Really, I don't know much about these books. I like to go into my books like blind almost. That's what I'm saying. I don't know who this book is by, so I'm gonna look it up on Goodreads real quick because I don't wanna walk to the other side of my office to uh, get it. Text by Michelle K. So this book is about a girl named Indigo that is kind of super popular. She's a cheerleader, does all that fun stuff. But her mom owns this like occult shop where she like sells all these witchy things. And obviously because of that, people are like, what's wrong with your mama, Indigo? And she learns that she is a witch and she needs to partner up with all these witches to help save the earth. Spooky sees the witches. It's all in the undertow, okay? My cat's staring at me and I'm uncomfortable. The next book I want to read is the Babysitter's Coven by Kate Williams. So this book is about a group of ragtag kids can perform magic but also babysit. How fun. Oh my god. Oh my god. This is a side note. Okay, so I seen Tom Felton posted um He's starring in a new Netflix show called The Babysitter's Guide to Slaying Monsters or something like that. That's the book I thought it was. The Babysitter's Coven. I thought it the book was being made into a movie. Sorry. It just came to me. But they have to 
help they their goal in babysitting is to keep their kids safe from the monsters of the world which when I say monsters I don't mean people monsters I dare you monsters that come out of your bed at night and I honestly am super excited to be able to read this I think it's gonna be so much fun especially for winter oh wow it's not winter especially for fall the next book I want to read this month is into the woods which I don't know who it's by and I don't want to dig it out um, but I'll, I'll as usual there's a picture of it right there it is a graphic novel of all these super scary stories and I I can't remember where I got this recommendation from but I heard it is amazing the graphics are beautiful I have not even looked into it when I pulled it out of the box when I bought it I literally just put it on my shelf and have not looked in the inside of it because I'm afraid it'll give me nightmares but I'm super excited to read it definitely spooky definitely fun excited the next one I want to read is the bake shop at pumpkin and spice so this book is about a girl who works at a bake shop and she makes all these fun Halloween treats and there's a little bit of sprinkle of love in there sprinkle of friendship sprinkle of children I'm just excited that's like the perfect cozy fall story for me the very last book I want to read this month is lockdown escape from furnace by Alexander Gordon Smith so this is gonna be a reread for me this book is about a kid who is accused of armed robbery and he is sent to the worst prison for teenagers that's available okay he actually is sent to the furnace which is an underground prison listen you see this cover that's what the guards look like and they're like demon dogs that run around the prison at night and grabbing kids and they do experiments on people this book is crazy I read it in ninth grade and honestly loved it was a fan Donovan was my boo um you can actually watch the channel a movie trailer or book trailer for it below terrifying not a fan personally but it's cool um I actually really want to read the read this book I just bought this book at Barnes and Noble I was like oh my gosh this is one of those books that got me into reading as a teenager love it can't wait to read it I live for it. All right, so that is my October TBR and my September wrap up. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you enjoyed all the books I want to read in October and all the books I read in September. If you did, make sure you give it a big thumbs up. Comment down below and tell me if you've read any of these books or any of these books seem interesting to you because uh, that's, that's the whole goal here is to get you guys interested in books. Make sure you hit that subscribe button down below. I upload every Tuesday and Thursday. Make sure you hit the little bell next to it to get notifications every time I upload and I will see you guys in my next one. Bye!